Hey guys, it's Ali Cat Loves AG, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the struggles and things that we all hate, or most of us hate, on AGIG. So for those of you guys who do not already know, AGIG stands for American Girl Instagram, and it is the amazing community on Instagram filled with collectors of all ages who love to take photos of their dolls. It's just such an amazing and supportive community most of the time, and I love it so much. But there are struggles when it comes to being an AGIG -er, or even if you're just someone who likes going through AGIG content. So I'm going to be covering those in this video. This video was suggested by somebody on Instagram. I unfortunately cannot remember who. And all of these answers, or at least most of them, were suggested by you guys because I posted something on my story asking you guys to send me your struggles and you guys definitely delivered. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing that most AGIGers hate is when a doll falls over mid photo or video. It's just really annoying and then you always have to check for scratches and the worst for me at least is when you're outside and then when you pick them up, even if they are scratch free, they've got leaves and dirt in their hair and even on their clothing and it sucks. Something related is when your doll falls, however you are further away and you can't even try and save the doll. The next thing, when your battery dies, especially if you're doing a photo shoot and you're not near any chargers or you don't have your charger with you, it's really, really annoying. When you run out of storage, this happened to me the first time I tried filming this video. I was about to film, it was golden hour, it was perfect, and then your storage is full. The next thing is if people from school or who you know find your account. This wouldn't be a struggle if you're someone who is very open about their dolls, but for me and I know a bunch of other people on AGIG, we don't really want to be associated with our dolls. In the community, yes, but we don't really want people from school getting involved. People stealing your photos. So recently there's been these accounts going around lately who are just stealing photos without credit and it's really annoying. I can't really necessarily say it's one of my personal struggles because my photos have never been stolen, or at least as far as I'm aware of. People saying you're too old or too young for dolls. Most of the time, if you're like, hey, I collect American Girl dolls, people are just gonna assume that you play with them and that you're really immature because we never really have the time to explain to them about Instagram and YouTube. Just people think it's weird in general, but you guys are never alone. There's a huge community of us teen, adult, and even child collectors too. So just whenever you have a bad day at school or something, or people say that you're too old or too young, come to us. We're the right community. When AGIG is inactive, this bugs me so much, especially when I have nothing to do and it's before bed. So I'm just scrolling and refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. When you have no photos to post. For me, this usually happens more so during the winter when it's been really gloomy or we get a lot of rain where I live in the Pacific Northwest. And I can't take photos of my dolls out in the rain, or at least I prefer not doing that. The next thing is flyaways. This is really bad during outdoor photography for me, because I'll have a really nice photo and then that one hair on their face. It's so annoying. Posting a photo and it doesn't get likes, or at least it doesn't do as well as usual. Something I love doing is taking photos of American Girl pets. However, I find they do not get as much likes as quickly as if I were to post a photo of a doll. When you don't know what photo to post first, I'm someone who does shoots on Instagram and then I can never decide what one to post first. I usually do my favorite, but sometimes I can't decide what one that is. And the final struggle is when people call them American dolls or girl dolls or whatever and they just say it incorrectly. It's three words, American girl dolls. Please get it right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and thanks again to everyone who contributed ideas. Thank you for 370 plus subscribers and if we can get to 400 by the end of May, that would be amazing. I don't think I can gain 30 subscribers in that time, but you guys always surprise me. If we can make that happen, that would be amazing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below any other struggles I forgot to mention. And subscribe to my channel for weekly uploads. Have an amazing day and bye!